Hello everyone, I'm Eric Hux of Hux Racing, and in this video I intend to show you how to bench test a Hybrid Racing Universal K-Series Conversion Wiring Harness. Uh, we see a lot of forum and uh, group posts about people having connectivity and uh, ECU power-up issues. The uh, first thing they typically blame is their conversion harness or the relay bank portion. I want to show you that's most possibly the easiest part to test. This is the harness, how it comes from hybrid racing, you know, before any modifications. This is what, it, you know, this is what you get in the box. Everything's still zip tied, exactly how it arrives from them. And I'm gonna pull up a one that's already labeled here to show you how to test it. So, this is that exact same harness, but I've labeled what, what relay is what and which connector is which and what the pin locations are. So this is the e-connector at the K-Series ECU. That will be pin one and then it will be, will be numbered one through nine across the top and then you know back to ten over here. This is C101. That will be the pin one location and I believe it's ten pins across there. Yes, so one to ten and then you know eleven to uh, let's see 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 across there. So that's a 20 pin connector. Now, I am using a Milwaukee M12 battery as my power source. You see I've labeled the positive and the negative positions. I made some convenient leads to make this video go quicker. I've already crimped some pins onto these leads. Now this is the instruction sheet that Hybrid Racing has on their website. They have a link on the same page that you would order this harness from them. And this is what the, you print it out, this is the sheet with the information. And I'll put a link lower in the video or down in the comments to show you where to download this instruction sheet. Now per them, we need to apply a constant 12 volts to, to the red wire. That would be this guy and orange switched on 12 volts to there you heard the relay actually you didn't hear anything click you heard me drag something okay so 12 volt constant 12 volt switched and now all we should need to do is apply ground to pin 7 on the E connector. So pin 7, if if 12 volts is applied to pin 9, you know, through key on, that then commands the ECU to turn on, which will then latch the main relay. And that is done through pin 7. So the ECU will apply ground to pin 7 to turn on the main relay. And you hear it click there. You can feel me getting shocked through the coil. Alright. So, we hear the main relay click on. Let's test for power 12 volts in the proper locations. So C101, get this where you guys can see it. So like I said, that's pin one there. So pin nine, 12 volts, pin 20, 12 volts, and pin 14, 12 volts. So that's all correct. So the main relay is powering on properly. Now to test the O2 relay. Realize that the main relay needs to be needs to stay powered on in order to test the O2 and the fuel pump relay. So we're going to test the O2 relay next. So just like with the main, the ECU will apply ground to pin, uh, let's see, eight, and then by applying, okay, you hear the relay click. It applies power or uh, ground signal to the O2 relay to power it on. Now if I grab the O2 connector here. I should have 12 volts in this position, and I do. So confirmed, O2 main relay functioning properly. Now, fuel pump relay, that would be pin one. Like I said, I marked that, that's your pin one location on the E-connector. Pin one, I need to do the same thing. I need to use a device to jumper my ground across. And I might have to push on that to test it. But the blue wire, for their instruction sheet, blue, fuel pump, 12 volts. So if I push that, hear the relay click, fuel pump output confirmed. So as simple as that, we've confirmed proper function on all three relays on the Hybrid Racing Universal K-Series conversion harness. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.